Dragon Feather, and I'm here to talk about symbols. Um, I'm going to show you them and then tell you what they mean. Alright, so the first and probably most popular symbol of Wicca is the, the pentacle. Um, it represents the five elements. Uh, spirit, earth, air, fire, and water. Um, and some use it in the opposite as representing the opposite of this one. Um, it's also, this one is also used by satanist cults. Um, I, I don't know how they use it. Um, but yeah, that's the pentacle. The next one is the triple goddess or the triple moon. And it represents the maiden, the mother, and the crone. Um, it is a symbol of also the moon phases, and it represents the goddess. Now, from that symbol, we have the horned one, or the god symbol, and it represents the god with his horns, and, yes. The other one you have probably seen is this, which is the Wiccan Wheel of the Year, or the Wheel of Life. It also re represents the... Uh, Wheel of Chaos, but they have to be sticking out a little bit of the circle. And we use this to represent our holidays. Um, and yes. This is the Sun Wheel. Um, it is an old symbol, and not many people use it anymore, but it represents the Sun and the Four Seasons. And some other symbols you might have seen is the Triquetra which also represents the maid, the mother, and the crone, and also, for the guys, it represents youth, warrior, and sage. Um, it also has a circle of life around it, and it also represents the threefold law. Another one is the universal hexagram. It is a balance, it's a perfect balance of complete opposites. Um, the one pointing up being the female, the one pointing down being the male. Another one you might have seen is the Endless Knot. Um, it represents life and an endless journey. The other one is the, Wic the Wiccan Hexagram. Without the circle, it is known as the Star of David. Um, it represents the four elements and the perfect balance, a perfect balance between opposites as well. The other one is an Egyptian symbol called the Ankh, and it represents immortality and life and is the key to the um, afterlife. The other one is, I don't know how many people know this one, um, it is called the Ogre Cross or the Troll Cross and it represents protection. Alright, any questions about any other symbols? Leave a comment or question below um, and I will help you. Alright, until next time, blessed be and bye!